Hey all, it's Becky. Good afternoon and evening for some of you. Um, do this real quick flip through. I'm just going to tell you right off the top that most of the tags and things are not in this yet. Um, but I did want to go ahead and get the video done of the book itself. This is a soft cover. Um, I used a file um, folder as the base. Um, there's also a wax glassing bag in between the fabric and the file folder that has an opening and then the fabric in, and several layers of lace are over the top of it. It measures approximately six by eight and a half. There's one signature that's pamphlet stitched in. It closes with this sari silk um, ribbon that I've attached um, by machine by sewing it. And on the front, again, like I said, there's fabrics and laces, several layers. Tattered flower that I made using um, lace scraps, eyelash trims, and um, little ruffly trims. And inside, There's a tuck pocket that I made using a vintage uh, hand embroidered napkin. And then inside are just some little journaling spots that I have added so far. Um, there are fabric tabs occasionally throughout. Most of the designed journal kit paper came from different kits from Tsunami Rose on Etsy. So um, she has a lot of pretty kits. If you're interested, go check her out. Um, here is a fabric, a little fabric tuck I have here and you can tuck it under here as well as under here and you can write there. It's a brown paper bag as a pocket and there's a tuck spot on it. I have some lined paper here that can be folded up if you wanted to write something private there. And then it's a pocket here and then a small band through here. And the um, page itself opens up into a large pocket. This is lined paper from the kits. And most of the stitching on the inside portion of the book is done in black. Some of the pages I have sewed together and some I don't. There's just some of the different pages. Here's a tea stain page that I made a corner pocket with a flip spot. And then this is a little tiny notebook that I made that fits in. It's got pockets on the inside and a few pages to write on as well. Some more paper, tea stain paper and image digital paper from the kits. This is a tea stain lined paper and this is a pocket that she has in her kits. Uh, paper doily. This is scrapbook paper with a belly band on the back. This is cardstock printed from uh, Daisy's kit. And this flowers from one of her cutouts. Here's another scrap piece of tea stain paper. Uh, sewed onto this page is um, tea stain parchment paper. This was under paper that I used when I was tea staining my regular papers. This is a pull out um, card. It's hard enough that you can use it as a guide to write over the top of on some of these pages if you want. You can use it as a bookmark. You can journal on it. Um, it fits right in there. Again, more paper pages from her kit. I left the strings on a lot of these long, they can be trimmed if you like. 
here is some tea stained book pages, some more kit pages, and um, sewn onto this one is tea stained paper with the top tuck and flip. And then this is a little um, tuck here at the bottom. This is some more of the scrapbook paper from a scrapbook pad that I had. And this is a top tuck. This is another tuck. And this is lined paper from the kit. Lined paper that's been tea stained. This is a hand embroidered napkin that's vintage. And kit. And then this is the parchment. This is a flip in or tip in flip pocket and it's a one two three pocket or if you want to attach it you can have a fourth pocket then this way you can write on the inside if you want tea stain paper this is more paper from the kit and this is a piece of printed acetate um, this came from the Planner Girls Society. I had some of it left that I had in my planner. And this is another book page. This is a lined page that's been tea dyed. This is a glassine paper bag that's been printed. Uh, I got this, I purchased this from Sherry Cox. And some more lined paper. Here's the other half of the acetate. And this I all, this piece of paper I also purchased from Sherry. Uh, she hand painted these roses on this. And some more paper from the kit. And this also is a pocket that opens from the top. So it's full size of the page. Here's another corner pocket with a flip up on tea stain paper. And this is another piece of the parchment that's sewed to the digital image paper and it has a pocket on it. Here's the other side of that embroidered napkin. This is another pocket that I made um, and this is just a, a full size piece of paper that's been stained that you can right on and then this is the other side some more tea stain paper this is a double pocket as well as a flip out on this page and this paper um, also came from that scrapbook pad coffee stain paper and the image the digital image page um, tea stain book page, cardstock from the kit, more pages from the kit, and parchment. There's another page from the, um, this is another page from the uh, scrapbook pad of paper. Again, another pocket with lined paper and a kit. This is a couple of pieces of tea stained paper. This is a pocket that opens up, but it also flips, so you can write. And on this side there, oh no, not on this side, just this. This you can write on, and then this side there's pockets here. And then when you flip over here, here's the other pockets. You have two here. If I can this up. You have one here and one here and then this is also a pocket. And some more image paper and then this is also another full size pocket on the side here. This is a corner pocket with a flip up to write in but you can also flip this up as well. Piece of lined paper. 
This is the other half of the paper bag and one of Tsunami Rose envelopes I have attached here as a tuck spot. And then when you flip it over, you have journaling cards inside. It's one of my, probably one of my favorite envelopes with the journaling cards. I just love, love them. Um, this bingo card is an original vintage bingo card and I've made a pocket out of it. And this is the last page to the signature. Here is another uh, plain part of that napkin as a pocket. And then in here, you have a spot here to stuff things in, plus the bag itself, plus between the bag and the cover. So there's lots of room to store extra little notebooks or papers or maybe a few pencils if you wanted to. Anyway, there you go. This will be listed hopefully by the weekend um, on my Etsy shop and all the links and stuff will be listed below. So thank you so much.